stay with us to see what this guy can do. We are talking about a really unique appliance. Now imagine having one thing, one thing, doesn't take up a lot of space. Look how cool this is. Awesome appliance, right? And you can do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now imagine that same unit is going to be able to help you do cooking, searing, baking, grilling, steaming, and browning. Now imagine that one unit is really, really easy to clean up, and then imagine the food comes out absolutely delicious. Well, you have made this, the Flavor Chef, a number one pick here at HSN because you've made it another customer pick, and you rave about it online. If you haven't seen how it works, I'm going to get my chef out here in a second, but I want to announce, because I'm excited about it, we have a brand new color that's only available here at HSN. We have the traditional black. Everybody loves it. It's always a winner, but you got to see... The amazing new red, and that was done exclusively. You can see this great red exterior. You get the tongs to go with it. You get a recipe book to go along with it as well. And I have to get Chef Rick Tarantino out here to explain just how cool this is. Hello, sir. It's Hi, good to Darlene, see you. It's good to see you, too. All right, you ready to get cooking? I'm ready to get cooking. What a great weekend we're having here with all the chefs in town. we got all this great food. This set smells incredible, right? It really and does. So I'm tweeting for the first time, everybody. Go to HSN Cooks, right? Did you really? Hashtag, yes, I have. I am a new tweeter and I'm tweeting on there okay. and it's all about the flavor chef right now yeah this unit is absolutely fantastic you know I've been selling products on TV for a long time developing kitchen products developing a lot of things for consumers to take home this makes it easy to cook it makes it easy to clean and it'll do it all in a small footprint a lot of us don't have a lot of room in our counter today right. and we want something that can cook in a small footprint imagine those great big pizza ovens we have in restaurants like mine and cooking a oh. pizza like this either from a frozen pre-made pizza or a fresh pizza. And I'm going to actually do one right here with us after I take this one out and show you how fast it'll actually cook this pizza. But here's what's important. When you close this flavor, I'm going to put that there because we're going to cut it. When you close this, the steam and all the natural flavors enhance the food and cook right inside. Not like those slanted grills that dry everything up and all the liquid drives away. This cooks right in it. It's got a deep base and a flat side. And I'm going to show you why that's important later on. Okay. So, Look at this pizza right here. I'm going to take this pizza out. Clearly, it's nonstick. Clearly, it's nonstick. <laughs> Look at that brown, just oh. pizza stone brown on the bottom. Okay? Now, it rolls up. This is sort of a thick pizza. And I'm going to cut it because I want you to see how absolutely perfect it comes out each and every time. Now, my food stylist, Chrissy, put this in just before we came out. We cooked it in about eight minutes. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful pizza. If you could get in. Look at how soft and and flaky that crust is, okay? Mm. You can see the cheese dripping off. Look, that's, that's a malt water that's shot right delicious. there. <laughs> and then you've got this beautiful brown crust in the bottom. And it does it all. If you buy this for one thing, buy it because it makes the greatest pizza you're gonna ever have. <laughs> I love to do pizza at my house. We do pizza on the decks. We do winter time. We want to do pizza indoors, right? So you take your flavor, chef. I've got a, a whole wheat pizza dough right here, all rolled out, fresh dough, right? We just made it. So we're making homemade pizza. We're going to make homemade pizza right here live on the HSN Cooks event weekend with the flavor, chef. Okay. I've got my dough right in there, okay? Now I'm going to put a little fresh mozzarella. Mm. Got a little Santa Margarita pizza. And you could just whip this up. Now, the best part is we don't have to do much with it, right? We're going to turn this on, okay. and we're going to walk away. And you and I are going to go down the line and talk about other foods and other things. And, oh, look at that fresh base. You can't get enough of that. We're going to put more in there. <laughs> now, look at I've got my mozzarella. You buy mozzarella at home, right? We were talking with Debbie Myers, my good friend, earlier. Sure. I keep my cheeses in there. You know why? Cheeses mold that's fast, right? right? right. Yep. You got that that's Debbie Myers greenware? <laughs> it, it'll last forever in there, believe me. If you don't, you buy the Flavor Chef. Make sure you jump in and if you're not already online, get the Flavor Chef and get yourself some greenware. So I'm going to do two cheeses. Okay. I forgot another piece of tomato right there. I got all excited. <laughs> all right, now, here's the best part. Over here, I'm going to move it for the camera, okay? Over here, you see we have two dials. We have the temperature. I'm going to turn it on high for pizza. Okay. And then I got a timer. I'm going to turn it on about 20, 25 minutes. It's going to cook much faster. I'm just doing that so when we go down, it doesn't shut off. Okay. Then I'm going to close it. That's that simple. Now I'm we making just walk pizza. away? Now we walk away. It's going to do all the work for you. It's going to make a crispy, golden ground pizza. I promise you. Just like a pizzeria every single time. And think about this. How many of you love going to that special pizzeria in your neighborhood because you want that flavor? You mm -hmm. want that taste? Guess what? Now you're doing it at home. But what I love, Chef Rick, is that it is a six-in-one. That shocked me for such an awesome footprint. It's not a huge footprint. We all have busy lives today. We want something that cooks food and cooks everything easy and simple, right? Sometimes you want to cook pizza. Sometimes you want to saute steaks. Sometimes you want to cook 
pasta, we want to cook an omelet, we want to cook different things, we're always pulling out different gadgets, different pans, they're heavy. I will tell you, this is honest to God truth, I do not have a flavor chef at my house. Do you know why? Because my mother stole it. She just took it from me. My him. mother took it from me <laughs> and took it to her house because she loves it because she doesn't have to pick up a heavy pan. You know, as you get older, things get heavy. You don't want to, to move them around. My mom loves it. She cooks right in a countertop. No danger of her carrying a heavy pan around, and, she, and it's easy to clean up. Look at this steak. I grilled it on the top side. No, no, explain this. Would you lay it back... Now you have two cooking surfaces. That's correct. You've got the deep well side that takes yes. eight cups of food in here. Wow. Then you've got the top flat side. Did you see the switch we have right here or right here? You can see it on this one. This controls the top, okay? You turn that on, the top gets hot. You turn on the timer and the temperature. If you want the bottom to just to go on, you keep that switch off. If you want the top to come on, you turn that switch on. So now they're both engaged. Now they're both engaged. Look at this steak. We, we just cooked it. And you can hear it searing, actually, when we were coming out. Look at this. Yeah. Every time, beautifully cooked steak. Oh, my god! Look at that. Who, who would want to cook a steak that thick? Look at that beautiful tenderness. Look at the searing and caramelization getting the outside. You and need high chef, heat to do that. And, Chef Rick, I just want to give a quick update for everyone who might be watching. I have only 2,000 of these even available. My guess is, and Luciano had to confirm, confirm it for me, the red's probably the most limited. Oh, it's That's beautiful. a brand-new color. We just don't have. We have maybe a couple hundred in the red, and the rest are in the black. We've always done the black. That's what everybody makes a customer pick. Mm -hmm. But you now get this really gorgeous red today. I want one. Here's i got to go order. You should, because your mom's got yours. <laughs> my mom's got mine. Ma, what are you doing? You Mom, my, my, come on. my flavor chef. Okay, but here's the important point. We have a special price for Flex and reduced shipping and handling, but those handles are only for today. We're doing a really fun event. We're so excited. All these great chefs are with us, but a lot of these deals end at midnight tonight, or if this sells out, which it very well could. You know, already 400 have been ordered. We've already sold 400, and we just started the presentation. So if you want that one appliance that's really kind of your go-to, then you go in and say, oh my gosh, I can cook on two surfaces at once. I can use it as my pizza oven. I can use it as a steamer. I can bake and say, we haven't talked about baking. Well, no, pizza's like baking. Here you can see we cook 360 oh, degree concentric cooking. That means all the ways around, top and bottom, the food cooks. It mm. sears, it seals in, in the flavor, and our proprietary flavor stone finish, that double layer of nonstick, seals in all that flavor and makes it simple and nonstick. You know, it, my, my factory, City Beef, we, we break down the street from the Trenton Fire Department, and those boys <laughs> eat, okay? Yes, they they eat meat, and I'll give them a big shout out. They're great, right? Fire yeah. Department's great for you. We cook steaks. They cook steaks like this. I'm going to send over one of these because they love this thick steak, and it, you can't just do it inside. If nothing cooks it right. It gets all smoky. you got to be outside. Can I ask a question, though? Yeah. Can I put the steaks on this side and close you it? You can. You can seal it right in. That's cool. Now, look how easy it is to clean up. I've let this heat back up. You can see it bubbling right here, right? Yeah. All hot, sticky. Watch how easy it is to clean up. And what are the little white flakes? Explain the white flakes. The little the white flakes are the second layer of nonstick. They have little bits of stone. We call it gemstone tough, okay? If you look really close right here, you can see the little white flakes. Those flakes of nonstick surface, you'll see it in the, in, in the display right here. There's two layers. They actually lift the food up over the first nonstick surface and trap that, that steam in there cooking in its own juices huh. and keep it 100% nonstick. Nothing will ever stick to this unit, I promise you. It has a water-resistant base and then a huge aluminum disc on the bottom. With every good pan, you need a solid aluminum core, right? right. Or a good thing steel on the bottom, but it's aluminum inside. Yeah. Disperses the heat. It has it on both sides. That's and up the walls, too, I would assume. Right up the sides, yeah. That's you can correct. see how thick it is and it's well, coated all the way around. Well, that's why the pizza crust, if you guys always get a pizza crust, and it turns out lame. If you guys see this, I know you're doing an egg dish, but I want you to see this pizza crust. Oh, look at the pizza see crust. See how it's yeah, yeah. perfectly bread. See, that's that crispy, gooey, yummy stuff we love, the cheese. There it is. But it's cooked all the way up to the sides of it because of that deep well having that aluminum all the way through it. Now, that's a great lead-in because I'm going to cook this quiche right in here, okay, okay. this on little dish quiche. Now, how many cups did you put in it? It could take eight cups. Wow. Eight cups of liquid. I put it about six because it's going to rise a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to put my cheeses on the top, Okay. Don't forget your Debbie Myers cheese containers, right? I love my <laughs> Debbie. She's so sweet. She got the greatest products. And put a little of the... This is a three-cheeser, right? Okay. Put a little more cheese. You now, like your cheese, man. Uh, you know why? I'm not afraid for it to stick on the top, right? Oh, true. Because yeah. I got a non-stick oh, on the top. Right. This You're well. not going to lift it off and everything's going to be stuck here. So now I'm going to close it. That's great. And we're going to come back to it. And in, in, in a few minutes, I don't know, maybe eight, ten minutes, we'll come back to it. And that's going to be a beautiful omelet. We're going to pull it out. Okay, that's awesome. All right, next up. Here's the red. 
I'm telling you, folks, I have sold this product all over the world. This is a hot product. It's, it's a customer pick, okay? Customer okay? pick, absolutely. In red now, red. We've never had color before. Red is one of those great colors in the kitchen, and you pull it out on a Sunday morning, and you mm. cook your pancakes. Look at this, perfect pancakes. My son, Matthew, he's probably watching right now going, Dad, how many dollars are you selling? <laughs> this right here makes a perfect pancake every single time because of that even cooking. You'll never burn a pancake. It'll never stick, and the first one to the last one will come out perfect. Can I make one time. ginormous pancake if you, you think can. about you it? You can. You can make a ginormous cookie cake in there. You know those <gasps> cookie cakes? Oh, yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? $50 at the store, right? Yeah, yeah. You For like a You make it inside your flavor chef, and you pay it off your flavor chef. Could you make like a giant chocolate chip cookie? Yes, I do oh. it all the time. Oh. I do it all the time. That'd be so awesome yeah. for a party. It, it, it's great. Now, look it. Wow. Now, don't tell me you got a big family and I can't use this because you can. This is a whole chicken, a four-pound oh chicken with the vegetables right inside here. Now, I want you to look, look really close. It browned, okay? Not only did it brown, I'm going to show you how tender it came out because do you see the steam all coming off? I don't know if you can see it on the TV. Sure. When I closed that lid, I trapped that steam in. Flavor technology with the Flavor Chef. It seals in the flavor, and it keeps it moist. So when I open it up, you see that steam come oh away? My. Now, watch this chicken. Just watch it flake away. I'm going to open it up, and it's just going to come right. Look at it. It'll fall right off the bone, just like you cooked it in a, oh, wait, in a slow cooker. Can I ask you a question? Could I do, like, three paninis in here? Honey, I'm going down there. i got five paninis do in there. Do you really? Five. And a Cuban oh sandwich, gosh. too, because you can't just have a Cuban paninis. sandwich we got to have a Cuban here? sandwich. But you like that chicken to be moist, but you want it brown wow. and crispy. You don't want it boiled, right? That's nice. And that's what you get wait, every fork time. Fork alert. I call this fork, fork alert. alert. You, you I take try that. Because, again, you, you, know, you don't want to dry it out. You want it no. to be really moist. And I cooked my vegetables. So they got that flavor mm. from the chicken all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Look yeah, at these beautiful good. peppers. Look wow. at how they cooked. Wow, wow, wow. You can roast your peppers in here. You could do stuffed peppers in That's here. Great. You know, Absolutely. look, I'm from Massachusetts, and it's cold up there right now. My father said it was 28 degrees this morning, and you want to cook inside. Yeah, you don't want to go outside, but you want that. You know, you want to cook a whole chicken. You know, you're feeding a family. It's Sunday, and an Italian family, Donatello, was talking about meatballs. Yeah. My, my, look at this. is going to fall apart. That's how tender it is. <laughs> That's awesome. My grandmother and my mother would do that every Sunday morning. And they'd cook all the meatballs and chicken. We always had chicken. Yeah. And that chicken comes tender just like that right here in the Flavor Chef. Now, watch. And now I love this, too. Cleanup is absolutely a snap. Now, remember, you got to understand this does six different things in one. So if you've never seen it before, it cooks, it sears, it bakes, it grills, it steams, and it browns. That's it. You know what's cool? It's an oven and it's a stove it top is. all in one. Now, I did that chicken. Now, you, you wouldn't do this at home. Obviously, you'd let it cool and you'd wipe it out, okay? Sure. But I'm going to wipe it out. I'm going to do it right here because it's steaming hot. No, and I'm going to take out all the chicken. And then I'm going to saute right in here, okay? Okay. I'm going to saute some shrimp into a fajita because I want a beautiful fajita and I'm going to have a party. That's right. People coming over my house. Now, remember we talked about the 180 degrees? We open it up. It's got a floating hinge. We open it up and we have a party. So it's big enough. We put our stir fry here. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Turn our time on. Make sure we're on. Make sure we're on high because we want it to sizzle. We're going to put that stir fry there. We're going to put in our shrimp. And then over here. Oh, of course. We're going to melt some cheese and make a nice basket of cheese. No way. Oh, yeah. We're going to fry it's some not cheese. Because that's that, that super high tech it's non stick, not right? stick, honey. You watch. We come back to that. It is just going to make some beautiful cheese. That's so clever. I was going to think you were going to warm up the fajita. Rest. I am going to warm the fajita, but i got plenty of time, right? Yeah. So right. I'm going to do a cheese basket. That's great. In the meantime, right on there, and we're going to just let that cook. Okay, that's awesome. All right? All right. So, look, now we're talking home cooking, right? Right. Nothing more home cooking than chicken and biscuits, okay? Oh, my gosh. Now, this is one of those, I don't know, just a staple, right? Ah. Oh. You put your biscuits in there. You can make homemade ones like Chrissy did here. You can buy, you know, the Bisquick ones in there yeah. put them in there. You just put them in. They'll get brown. Look it. I want you to see that. That's brown. That brown inside there. I dare you to do that in a slow cooker or another appliance. It won't work. Wow. You don't have that 360-degree concentric cooking. The price of this unit that you're getting it for today. Right. 
will do all of this, I guarantee, just as good as anything else you have in your kitchen in this one small footprint. And I do want to mention that too, Chef Rick, is you got to remember the price, the flex, the reduced shipping and handling, that is only available today. We've now sold almost 700, and here's your chance to say, all right, we take all major credit cards, so that's easy. For $25, get it at home. I love what you had to say about the reviews. The reviews on this are exceptional. Yeah. People are using it over and over again, time and time again. Most people said, I use it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And there's very few appliances you have in your house where literally right. it's the only thing you need to do all your meals. And also, you got to remember, this acts like an oven and it acts like a stovetop. We sell stuff that are like stovetops. We sell stuff that are like ovens. We sell very few things that actually act as both. That's true. And this really does. Right now, we're using it as a stovetop. But over here with my pizza, it's an oven. And there you see it. That 360 degree. Why heat up your whole oven? You need to heat up your oven to get that little thing cooked. No, with this unit, it cooks right in your countertop. It's not heavy. It's easy to clean up. It'll do steam and cook and bake and saute and uh, braising. Anything you want, it will do frozen to finish. Correct. You can come home after work, throw can in I your chicken. Can I put some frozen burgers in there? Frozen burgers, frozen chicken. Make a, one of those quick quick recipes from, oh, Kelsey's book, some of those recipes in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, Kitchen Essentials. You cook with that right in your flavor, chef. Easy to do. That's great. Look at this. I want to show you something. Okay. Watch. <laughs> this is just going to fall off. Oh, man. Look it. It's just going to fall. That's how non-stick it is, all right? Wow. And I, this is fried cheese, and I'm telling you, we're going to eat this. If not now, right after we get off the air, we're going to get that. That's the best. That, that is the best. Now, let's go over. I'm going to close our chicken. I'm just going to keep cooking, okay? Yes. In fact, let's flip it, because why not? I mean, let's get both sides cooked, right? That's awesome. You can hear it sizzle. See how fast it heated up? Mm-hmm. It's got the heat that you need in the depth. Now, you were talking paninis. Oh, I had them in too long. I was waiting too long. I was getting yelled at. <laughs> So now I got my Cuban over here. I got my Cuban panini over here. Now this is good because you're going to see oh, all the sticky cheese in there. That's awesome. And then I'm going to cut that Cuban open. I'm going to take these out so I can cut over there. I want you to see the cheese. Oh, that cheese is just going to come right off. That brie cheese. I had brie in there. Mm. And it just, oh, it, it's just getting so it's, melty it just, and good. It, it's completely clean. It, it's completely clean. Yeah. I want to set that because I want to cut my... Cuban, because I know Cubans are my favorite too. I love that. And look it. You can hear that, hear that crispiness? Yeah. Now look it in there. Look at how beautiful. Look at how gooey. Oh, man. See all that cheese melted in there? Look at that Cuban sandwich that we had in there. And then I had that brie. Look, smell oh, that. Wow. You smell that cooking in oh, there? Are you kidding me? Look at that pulled pork and that Cuban right there. Hey, you know, Chef Rick, let me give one more quick update. If you want the red, that is actually outpacing the black four to one because we launched it today, and you cannot get that anywhere, anywhere else. We have the best deal anywhere. Again, we've got reduced shipping and handling today only, price today only. In fact, you know, you're saving yourself a couple of bucks today, and the four flex is only for today. And the red by far is outselling the black because we never had the red until this day for this big event. That's why we're offering the red. It's really neat because a lot of times how many of you someone moving into a smaller space? It's the kid going from college off to their first apartment. It's the kid going from home into their first college dorm mm -hmm. or their apartment at college. It's somebody who's maybe a new couple is getting married and they live in a smaller condo. Maybe you're downsizing. Oh my gosh, how many of us are downsizing? And you're like, I don't want the big stove. I don't need to use it. Maybe you just don't want to heat up that big oven or turn on the stove top. This literally takes the place of six different ways to be able to cook all in one really cool unit that's a cinch to clean up. And you know, a lot of times I think when you see products, you're like, oh, is it gonna, you know, should I try it? Trust what our customers have to say. Chef Rick, they've been uh, making this a customer pick since I think the time you launched they it. They have. <laughs> and you know, I'm making my cheese basket right here. Love it. You melt the cheese and then we're gonna let it set up for a minute right there. And then we're gonna flip it upside down and we're gonna serve our uh, fajitas, our fajitas in, it. in it. That's great. So, it's, again, look at that cheese. Watch how easy it cleans up. What's the max temperature this can reach? It, it, right now, this is probably about 400 degrees right here. Okay. Yeah. So it goes from, you can do warm, clear up to 400. Clear up to 400. It's got low, medium, high, and two settings in between each. Okay, perfect. Okay. And the temperature and the time, I'm going to close that down, trap in that flavor again. Now, let's go back over Dude. here. There's <gasps> oh our egg. Oh, my gosh. That turned we just out great. Made, isn't that, look it. It's That's beautiful. That's a quiche made inside of the Flavor Chef. <laughs> and then... Look at our pizza. Oh, man. Now, we just, when did we put that in? I don't know. It's 15 minutes ago, right? The pizza about 15, 20 minutes ago, I yeah. want to show you the bottom. Look at how brown it is and crispy already. And that was pizza dough, you guys. That was this pizza wasn't dough, a pre-made Look at base. that. 
Look at that. Oh. Pizza oven. Listen. Pizza oven brown. Yeah. Can you hear that little pizza oven brown? Okay, pizza stone delicious. Right there in our flavor, chef. I'll move it over so you can see it. Look at that. Look at that beautiful oh Santa gosh. Margarita pizza. That tomato's hot. <laughs> hot. <laughs> hot. Don't beautiful. burn yourself. Now, watch. We just cooked the pizza. Again, this is why my mother loves it. Now, watch this. Here's cleanup. Try that with your pizza oven in a restaurant, right? Done. Believe me, I know. We scrape ours down with big brushes every day. <laughs> That's right. You know? Yeah, you got to <laughs> scrape them down, right? And, and, and it's done. It's ready to go. Hey. Um, Chef Rick, just update, I have less than 500 left if you want the red. We're down to, right now, about 350 remaining. This is going to sell out. The red will sell out. And then if I have any black left, maybe it'll make one more airing. But you won't have red as an option. By the way, I do want to turn it around so you can see it. Because it's beautiful. And it's that perfect kitchen red. We love, red is such a hot color for the kitchen. I love the fact it's got the hinge. It also has a floating hinge, which it is does. great. Can so if you're doing a really thick panini, that floating hinge is going to sit on top of it. Um, and then you just open it up and remember it's not just cooking on the one side you actually can cook on both sides or convert it to a kitchen or a pizza oven or convert it to a mini oven or make two um uh stove tops out yeah, of it that's right it, you can have a grill brilliant. on a sunday you know you have your griddle you can cook during the week with it look at this look at this fajita look at this omelet i want you to see this omelet. Oh my we goodness. cooked it live <laughs> right here look at how fluffy it is it, it rolls up just like a quiche Perfect. It's nice and fluffy. It's steamy. It's brown on the top. Remember that cheese we put in? And it's soft and moist in the middle. You can't get that from every appliance. The Flavor Chef does it all with that 360-degree concentric cooking and that two layers of onion. Chef Rick, let me ask you. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. No. In fact, I'll tell you what. There are appliances that do one of these things. Yes. And they do it good. And then there's a... The Flavor Chef, that does them all really, really good. But you know, if you're like me, you got a lot of products, okay? And you're like, what is that one thing this does? Everybody's got one thing. Right. You want to do fajitas. You Fajitas. You want to do omelets. You want to do pizza. You want to cook a chicken in your family. You want to run upstairs when you get home from work. And you don't want to be in front of the stove. Right. And, right. you know, it's got this, again, solid core base, this oven-style cooking. In a small area, why heat up your, old, your whole oven, waste the energy, and That's it right. dries out your food. It's not designed point. Great point. to seal in the flavor. Yeah. And when we, we were talking earlier with some of the chefs, Curtis and I were talking, sometimes, isn't it so exciting when you got a product that just does the job? <laughs> That's right, yeah. Just That's does right. the job? It just right? works well. This just works. And you want to know, we have big equipment in our kitchens, big equipment, expensive equipment that does stuff like this, but it's big. Big, big ovens, big, big equipment. This does it on your countertop. And look at right here. I love I that. folded this up. This is how you store it. It, it, it's, you know, like a large box of cereal. Right. You know, it, it, it can slide right in your counter. Look and yet, cheap. you're making a meal for a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah. Eight cup capacity. Look at this fajita, right? So look, at now I've got my, uh, this is this is beautiful. I, I, I love to do this. Oh, you're making your bowl? I got my bowl, right? Look, <laughs> at, so I got my fajita in my cheese bowl. Mm. You tell me, where can you get an appliance that'll make you a cheese bowl? That's what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> That's true. Okay, let me give you a couple of recipe tips, too, because it's included. You get a, t a whole recipe booklet. There it is, the Western fajita you Look just talked that. about. Cheesy hash browns. Oh, sign me up for that. Hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have the Western omelet. Then it goes on to a Reuben sandwich. Delicious. Pan paninis we talked about. Burritos. You can make burritos in here. Quesadillas. How about a Philly steak and cheese? Yay, Ooh, Philly fans. Yeah. You don't have to go to Pat's or Gino's. We have steak shish kebab. We have steak and chicken fajitas. You showed us the pizza, obviously, is amazing. The list goes on. There's burgers. There's brats. There's filet mignon, chicken cordon bleu. And that's my new cookbook in there. We, we updated it. So you've got great recipes. I love great the, recipes. We have barbecue chicken, pork chop.